Hey Benzi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther. Uh, maybe some of you guys have noticed like the new background. It's because I moved houses. House tour coming soon. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about working in Cyprus as an international student. Well, this is because I have received so, so many questions about this particular question. And um, I just thought, you know what, instead of just answering this same question over and over again let me just make a video and then um if anybody else gets to ask me this question i'm just gonna send this link to them okay so um let's get into the video guys <laughs> okay so you've decided to come to cyprus to study here one thing i'm gonna tell you don't come here with like high expectations that when i go to school when i land i'm gonna look for a job and then i'm gonna you know try and balance working and studying at the same time have some money maybe to pay my school fees or have some money to sustain myself and all that so don't come with that expectation because you're just gonna be disappointed there are so many people here who have come with that expectation and they've been disappointed Personally, for me, I'm not actively looking for a job, so I'm not really directly affected by, you know, the situation. So, um, I'm going to give you guys, like, uh, a picture of the situation here in Cyprus. I'm going to give you guys uh, some of the options you can get, uh, some of the options you can pursue if you want to get a job. Okay, uh, in Cyprus... Uh, you guys know that it's divided into two. There's the North Cyprus and there's the South Cyprus. So I can only speak for South Cyprus because that is where I'm based. I'm not quite sure of what happens in the North Cyprus, but if you're watching this and you're in North Cyprus, could you please just comment down below and let me know if all the things that I'm mentioning is the same as the North. Okay, the locals in the South Cyprus, they speak Greek. So when they advertise for job vacancies, one of the requirements is you must know how to speak Greek because they want someone who is going to be able to communicate to the locals because that's their target market, the locals who speak Greek. Yeah. So in as much as English is also a requirement, but also Greek comes with it. It's also part of the requir requirement let's say you don't know greek right one of the option you can do is work in school i'm very sure there are schools that um especially in my school they provide you know uh work study situations so you can decide to work in school and at the same time you know go to class so um in my school what they do is they make you apply so there's this form where you fill out your details like which department you're in, your skills, everything. You fill out your details. Then, uh, if there is a need, they go and take the forms and they check and see the person that they would want. One disadvantage about that is there are so many people who have applied to work in school. So your form may be in between thousands and thousands of applications so chances of you being called to work in school is pretty slim but it's a chance that you can take because you just never know you just never know another option to follow is to look at job sites there's a particular student job site that i know of and i'm gonna link it down below and it covers nicosia limassol Paphos, like all the cities in cyprus but then one thing about that job site is um there are uh, the jobs that are there most of them they require you to know greek but there are few where uh, international companies have listed their job vacancies and knowing greek is not necessarily a requirement okay so this is also another option to like uh pursue another option you can pursue is you can use a job agency a job agency works like this yeah you pay a certain amount of money they place you uh with uh, an employer yeah that's how it works i have a friend who used a job agency but it actually didn't work in his favor he ended up working in a farm and it wasn't a good situation so you see sometimes job agencies are not reliable because why would i pay um the the agency fee like 300 euros and then you find me a job to work in a farm and i'm being paid 30 euros per day and the work i'm doing i'm supposed to be paid more 
because working in a farm that's hard labor and 30 euros per day that's really it's not it's not worth it but if if you can do it i mean to each their own the best uh season where you can work in cyprus it's uh during the summer season during the summer season you literally can get a job like in the restaurants in bars and you don't necessarily need to know greek yeah because in ayanapa they look for uh waitresses they look for bartenders they look for people who do promotions and you know during this season it's the tourist season so these restaurants and uh bars and clubs they need people to work so during summer like people make money i have friends who have worked in ayanapa and they've said like they've wrecked in some cash like serious serious cash so during summertime it's the best time to work but even in ayanapa it's not as easy to get those jobs like you need to know someone who knows someone who knows someone but one thing is for sure that's the best season to work in cyprus because you get a lot of money so guys i think that's it really i mean cyprus doesn't really have so many options and it's just discouraging sometimes but you know you survive <laughs> for me personally i'm not looking for a job i'm not actively looking for a job here in cyprus at least so this thing doesn't really affect me but if you're coming to cyprus long term especially people who are doing their undergraduate who are going to be here for four years maybe you need something you know to keep you busy but people who are doing their master's program maybe they're not affected too much because you're just here for one and a half years and you're gone but for the undergraduate students maybe you need to look at some of these options that i have provided you so uh good luck to you guys really if you're coming to cyprus welcome and good luck to you hopefully you know you come here and the country will favor you for some it's not so good for some it's great okay so it, it really depends with an individual so guys i hope this video was informative i hope you enjoyed it you've been educated and um i'm gonna see you guys in my next video make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and uh, all that good stuff comment down below and also share it with people who want to come to cyprus maybe you know someone who wants to come here and they don't know what to do so just send them this video and hopefully it's gonna be helpful to them so see you guys next time bye <laughs>